cooking could be stressful. But if you plan it very well, it's very fun. So, if you are doubting your ability to cook, you are in the right place. If you are a man or a lady that wants to learn how to cook, you are also in the right place. And if you are already a good cook, welcome, you are in the right place because the comment section is there for you to share your experience with us. So, welcome to my cooking channel, like father, like son. There are some things that make it difficult for people to cook, you know, that when you hear people say, ah, cooking is stressful, I don't like cooking, it's so stressful, it wastes my time, it's time consuming, you know, this and that, different excuses. Well, I don't blame them, I, I understand what they're trying to say. Here are some things that make cooking very challenging, I'm going to point them out. One is shopping for your ingredients. So when you want to cook, you need to know what you want to cook and the ingredients you will use to cook it. So most times it's difficult to shop or to identify these ingredients. But if you can identify it, you're good to go. Two is uh, where to buy your ingredients, you know, which market to go to, you know, you need to know these are my ingredients, this is where I'm going to get them from because at times you might want to cook something but you don't know where you get the ingredients from. So it could be challenging, but that does not mean it's not possible. There are local markets, there are supermarkets, there are stores, there are malls, there are online shops. You can still get some of these things from. Three is you have to prepare your ingredients. It could be challenging preparing the ingredients. So what I mean preparing the ingredients, for example, if you had, if you got vegetables, you have to cut it, wash it, if you have uh, other spices, you have to prepare you know, the quantity and um, if you have other things, tomato, you know, onion, sort of thing, you have to still cut them, wash them, you know, prepare them. So that, if, or if you're cooking beans, you have to pick the beans, you know, those things you need to do or meat, you buy your meat, you have to wash it, cut it into the sizes you want or chicken or those kind of things. Preparing it also could be time consuming and stressful. So those are one of the reasons why people shy away from um, cooking, you know. But the idea is this, you could have them prepared for you where you bought them. For example, the meat seller can help me cut the meat to the sizes I want. I just know that all I need to do is to wash and cook. Or the vegetable seller can help me cut it into pieces the way I want it. All I need is just to use it and cook. And uh, the egusi seller can help me just grind the egusi, you know, or I just buy a ready made um, grinded egusi. It all depends. So it's fun, okay? So the next point is uh, having a messy environment, you know. Um, this is two ways. At times when you go into the local market, the environment could be messy and you might not like going to that kind of place to buy your ingredients. So, if you like going to the local market, no problem, but if you don't like, you can go the option of going to a supermarket or a mall. You can still buy some of these items there, shopping mall, we have a lot of them here in Nigeria, so you could buy anything you want to cook your soup there. I'm going to show you how I went shopping for this, my egusi soup, egusi soup, egusi soup. All right. So then, the messy environment. The other part of messy environment I'm talking about is in the kitchen where you're going to prepare your meal. You need to keep it tidy, organized. If it's so messy, it could be confusing. So you should know where you're keeping the vegetables, the gusi, the onions, other things you need. The pots. Make sure they are washed and cleaned. You know, just arrange the place so that it's organized in a way. That's how I love it and. And cooking could be messy because each time you're washing, you're dropping water, you're dropping one trash or the other. So always pick them up and clean up the environment so that it won't look that messy all the time. Number five is lack of water. Man, if you don't have water around when you're cooking, it could be frustrating because you need to you use water several times, washing hands, cooking itself doing this, washing pots, washing this, well, you know, you just need enough water. So if you don't have enough water, it could be discouraging to cook. But if you have good water flowing from the tap, it makes it easier for you. And another one is light. 
if your kitchen is dark it will also discourage you to cook so you have to make sure you have enough adequate source of light it could be from the window or external light of a bulb shining in the kitchen you just need enough illumination to see things so you won't mistakenly cut your hands or drop something wrongly or step on the wrong things okay so with this aside now these challenges are addressed let's go shopping for our I go to the market, I ask them to just do everything for me. So that's how men, we want if we as for men, we want it the fastest way. So I go to the market, I buy the vegetables, I ask them to cut it for me. I buy the okra, I ask them to cut it for me. And uh, I buy the egg I ask them to grind it for me. So that's it. All right, I hope you enjoy watching this video. You can subscribe to this channel, like and comment and share. This is just a learning process. I'm just doing this thing for the first time and I hope you enjoyed it. See you some other time. Thank you.